Hi everyone, uh, it's been a very long time, hope you're doing well. So in this video, we are going to work on a particular requirement and create a solution for that requirement. So we'll be writing some code. Uh, we are going to focus on mainly two things. The first one is the approach used here to solve a problem. The second one, we are going to have a good understanding of the code that we are going to write. Then we will be writing the entire script and testing our solution. So let's now see the uh, requirement. Okay, so we would like to add analytics admin role for users who don't have analytics admin or analytics viewer role. So we would like to have this as a rule for any user who's meeting this condition, but also in time. Because I may create a user today, I may create a user tomorrow or even after a month. So I should be able to make sure that if I have a user, if I create a user in future, uh, it is going to apply as well for that user. So how we can solve this? The, the first thing, we're gonna write an entire script which is actually going to translate this requirement as a solution. So uh, basically the script is going to run a query in multiple tables and then find out these users and add uh, the role to that user. But if you want to as well uh, to execute this code uh, on a certain frequency and for that we're gonna have a scheduled job and the scheduled job is basically going to have the piece of code that we write and it is going to run on a certain period so here i'm going to choose here for every hour but you can put every day it's case by case because i assume here i'm going to have a lot of users today so i prefer to have every hour so here we go so this is the approach uh, we are using here uh, to solve this problem a schedule job which is going to contain a script so now let's have a closer look uh, on the code and understand the code. Okay, so here we have the entire code and we will go through it step by step. And the first thing what we do here, we call a function, which is give role function. Then we define the function and inside our function, we, we are having here a try and catch statement. This is mainly used for to catch any errors and work on these errors. The main code, will be in the try block and the first thing what we do here is we create a glide record object of sys user table and query that table then we have a while loop and we for each user we are going to create another glide record object of sys user as role table in this table we are having the user and the role so here we are going to run a query and we are going to be we are going to look for specific results so we're going to give as input like uh, for the filters for the query we're going to give the user society and the role the concerned roles which is which are analytics admin and analytics viewer so we can have two possibility of result okay so the first thing either we can find a user who does have this role okay or we can find a user who doesn't have this role. So how we can translate this in terms of code. So we have here urolegr.next. So that's a condition. If that condition, if, if it is equal to true, that means we found a user uh, who does have these roles. If we have point exclamation urolegr.next, we mean we find a user who doesn't have these roles. In that case, we can assign to this user the analytics admin role okay so that's why we have another step here which, which where we have an if condition testing with this condition and then adding the role to that particular user so that's all we do here so if you have understood the code at this point it's pretty good now what we have to do is just take this entire code put it in a scheduled job and then test it so let's do that okay so let's create a scheduled job so look for scheduled job in service now and click on new and make sure that you select the third choice here and give it a name for your scheduled job so i'm going to put here an assign analytics admin role and then select a, a time here and give it a description so this script will 
assign analytics admin role for users who don't have analytics admin or analytics viewer role So then the first thing what we do we are calling a function so let's call our give role function and now we define the function so the give role function And in our function, the first thing that we have here is the um, the try and catch block. So let's write that. And our main code will come into the try block so this is where we are going to write 90% uh, of the code which is actually going to find out these users and then assign the role so the first thing here what we do we create a user gr glide record object of sys user table and query that table Okay, so once we are done with that, we are going to create a while loop, which is going, which will go through the sys user table. So while user gr dot next, and then I'm gonna have this uh, parentheses. And the first thing that I create here in the while loop is a user, sorry, u role gr. Uh, glide record object of sys user as role table okay so now before querying this table we're gonna add some query so the first query, uh, it's um, we're gonna mention uh, for which user we would like to filter the results. So user, it's going to be the uh, we're gonna get the current sys ID. Okay, so we are in the while loop and we are doing we are creating an object for each user, and uh, and for that particular user we are giving here uh, we are taking that information the sys ID of the user and then querying the table. But also we're going to have another query, which is uh, we're going to specify for all the roles that we are interested in. So here analytics admin and analytics viewer. okay so we can actually limit the response so we can we're gonna set the limit to one and then we query the table okay so at this point we can have two possibilities uh, sort of response okay so either we're gonna find a user who is going to have uh, or do a user does have these roles or we're going to find a user um, who doesn't have these two roles so we're going to set a condition here if point discrimination user gr role sorry not a user um u role gr dot next if this condition is true if mean if we find a user who doesn't have these what these particular roles uh, we can insert a record in the sys user as role table 
so for which user so we're gonna mention here euro gr initialize so that's the first thing because we want to um, uh, insert a record so let's initialize initialize first and now we're gonna mention the user society so so and we're gonna mention for the role here so you roll gr dot set display value and we're gonna mention into the parentheses role and which role we would like to assign for this user okay so here actually we are going to we are creating a record in the sys user as role table okay so now we're gonna insert the record perfect we are done with the code uh, let's have a final check if everything is good So I just need to put a semicolon here for GS info X. Perfect. So before submitting uh, this uh, record, we are going to just look at the Abel Tutor profile and um, see uh, all the roles. So we can see here there is only one role here. Now I'm going to submit. And uh, now if I click on edit in uh, Abel Tutor user profile right here for in the role uh, section and you can see I have a new role which is analytics admin perfect thanks for watching and have a nice day bye